And right now, there is no estimate as to how long it will take to rebuild the Francis Key Bridge and get the port back open. I want to bring in the chair of the Department of Civil Engineering at the College of New Jersey, Andrew Bechtel. Andrew, this ship, uh, 948 feet long, 158 feet wide, three football fields equivalent, and slammed into a 1.2-mile-long bridge. Uh, just to give some perspective there, uh, lays the groundwork for the question that I think on everyone's mind. How on earth can so much of a bridge be taken out so fast? So, how? first, thank you for having me. Um, so much of a bridge can be taken out so fast because that ship struck that bridge in its most vulnerable point at the support. Um, it probably had a better chance of standing if it would have hit it somewhere in the middle, but obviously in the middle, we keep the bridge away from where the ships are. It was a low probability thing to happen where a ship of that size struck the ship, struck, struck the bridge exactly where it needed to be struck. Um, when we design bridges, we design them to have a very low probability of failure. They can nothing can ever be designed to be impossible to fail. But understanding where this bridge is and understanding the traffic that goes through it, is there something that might have lessened the possibility that even hitting where it did, it might have not collapsed the entire bridge? So the, the best thing you can do is to keep the ship from actually hitting the bridge. Probably the simplest and easiest thing to do to protect the bridge would to be add to be to add a fender system that would have been, would have been sacrificial. So it would have been a structure the ship could have hit, and then it would have destroyed that, but it would have saved the bridge. Um, these are required sometimes. It really depends on how far the navigable waterway is away from the pier in question. I'm sure you've seen it and probably seen it multiple times, but I'm going to play again the video of that collapse. So as someone who is expert in this, when I watched it at whatever, 4.30 this morning, and I just recoiled in horror, but what did you see? I, I saw a, a ship that was tall, tall enough to strike the superstructure of the bridge, hit it, and just take it out at its most vulnerable spot. Um, there was really nothing there that would have helped it hold on at all. That was like a perfect hit. Um, the, the Maryland governor today said that reconstructing that bridge is going to be a long-term build. That sounds like perhaps a, an understatement. What does the process of rebuilding look like here, and how much would you expect them to take into consideration what happened this morning as they're looking at that rebuilding? So the speed of the rebuild really depends on how much money you can put into the project and also if there's anything there that can be reused. And really, that's going to be what the foundations are like underneath the water. Building new foundations Do you think that's possible? I hadn't even thought of that as a possibility. Anything is possible if it's usable. It would. It, what they're going to have to do first is clean out the wreckage, and then they can inspect and see what is left. Um, and they'll probably design moving forward from what's left to use. Building a bridge from the ground up, new foundations and everything, will take much longer than if you, there's something there that can be still be used. So many questions yet to be answered before we can answer that question of how long it might take. Andrew Bechtel, thank you so much. We really appreciate you coming on the program. Thank you very much for having me. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on Get or the Cloud icon and enjoy it.